Northamptonshire chased down 350 to win. Nick Selman helped boost his size lead on day three. That was 248 heading into the final day at the Upton Steel County Ground. But was it enough for Glamorgan to bowl at? Not quite. Cook and Carlson returned to the middle on day four to add to that lead, and they looked to do it in quick time with some aggressive shot making. They played with freedom, the captain jumping on a short wide berg delivery here and sending it over the ropes. The lead was soon over 300, and their approach took Carlson to yet another 50. In fine form, this one came off 69 balls. Cook had a let off, but Carlson wasn't as fortunate. His uppercut was snaffled as he looked for the third man boundary. The captain kept going and soon had joined his former partner on 50. The score was now over 300 and their lead 354. That was enough for the skipper, who led his side back in, declaring with five wickets in hand, and Northamptonshire had to bat their way through two and a half sessions. Glamorgan were in the driving seat thanks to Selman, Root, Carlson and Cook. Their 50s gave the visitors a mighty lead, and barring a remarkable chase from the hosts, all but made the game safe. Curran and Vasconcelos got Northamptonshire off to a solid start. The pair enjoyed a 50-run partnership to take their side through to lunch at 54 for none. Their fine opening continued. Vasconcelos showing some attacking intent, keen not to allow Glamorgan to cruise their way through the final day. His hitting had him on 50 off just 53 balls, another good knock from the Northamptonshire man, their total now heading towards 100. Curran would be unable to emulate his partner. Callum Taylor found his pads and he had to go for 21. Thurston lasted just three balls before he lifted a routine catch to Valberni in the slips off the bowling of wheel. That brought Rob Keogh to the crease and he and Vasconcelos counter-attacked. The pair biffed a 50 partnership in just 43 balls, bringing the unlikely target under 200. Keogh raced to his own 50 from 47 balls, putting some real impetus into this Northamptonshire effort. And before long, Vasconcelos had converted his 50 into 100, scored off 121 balls and brought up with his 16th four of the innings. They reached the tea break soon after, the score was 198 for two and they needed just 157 runs in the evening session. The hosts kept on going after tea, both men playing well and taking the score past 250 with some excellent attacking intent. It wasn't long before the required runs was into double figures, Keogh now the man chasing 100. His innings so far scored at almost a runner ball. Wheel gave him just the delivery he'd have wanted on 97. Width on offer and the ball slapped to the boundary. And Northamptonshire showed little signs of slowing down their ballistic approach. That intent took the side to 300 runs and Ricardo Vasconcelos to his second score of 150 this season, brought up with a booming six down the ground. His side were now cruising towards the win. Keo couldn't join him on 150. He fell with 126 to his name caught behind with Cook up to the stumps, but it was too little, too late for Glamorgan. The hosts made short work of the remaining runs. Vasconcelos finished the day unbeaten on 185, his knock one of real quality and a new personal best. He and Keogh had virtually won the game by themselves, their partnership worth a massive 239 runs, which had been scored off just 276 balls. They'll take heart from their performance when they travel to Emerald Headingley to face Yorkshire, while Glamorgan hosts Kent at Sophia Gardens.